Hello everyone. In this video we're going to talk about something called the Archimedean property or Archimedean principle. This is one of the most fundamental properties in all of mathematics and is used extensively in mathematical proofs. So let's go through the property. The Archimedean property states that for any number c, for any number c, you can always find a number that's bigger. So there exists a natural number. So like 1, 2, 3, 4, those are the natural numbers, and so on. N that is greater than C. That is greater than C. So this is a really fundamental property. So it's basically saying, given any number, you can always find the number that's bigger. So um, it's just something that we can use in math, uh, and in particular math proofs, and it's very powerful. Let's do a simple example of using this. Let's do a proof where we use the Archimedean property. So the statement is the following. So prove that for every positive number epsilon, so positive number epsilon, there exists a positive integer n, so there exists a positive integer, and we're going to use capital N, such that 1 over little n is less than epsilon for all little n greater than or equal to capital N. So we have to prove this statement and we're going to do it using the Archimedean principle very very carefully. Okay let's try to do it. So proof. So in order to do this problem we have to figure it out. So I'm going to come over here and figure the problem out. So this will be our scratch work. And then once we figure it out, we'll go back to the left and we'll write a formal proof. So we have to show that for every positive number epsilon, we can find a positive integer n such that this is true for all n bigger than capital N. So if we write this as follows, we get this. If you divide by big N and divide by little n, this implies that 1 over big N, just working backwards, is greater than or equal to 1 over little n. Right? Just dividing both sides by little n and by big n. Rewriting this, this means that 1 over little n, and then just read it backwards, less than or equal to 1 over big n. So we want 1 over little n to be less than epsilon. So in order to accomplish that, we need this to be less than epsilon. So this is what we want. Okay, this is what we want. So in order to accomplish this, well, what we can do is we can solve for n. So we have 1 over n less than epsilon. Then we can multiply both sides by n. So we get 1 less than epsilon n. Then dividing by epsilon gives us 1 over epsilon less than n. Writing this backwards, n bigger than 1 over epsilon. Wow, so that's what we need, right? This is what we need. If we have this, everything should follow. So recap, I got this from here because I know we need that. Writing this a different way, we get this. Writing it backwards, we get this. We know it has to be less than epsilon. And then you solve for n and you get this. So this is what we need. Okay, let's do it. So we'll start by letting epsilon be a positive number. So let epsilon greater than 0 be any positive number. Positive number. So we have a positive number. And now we somehow need to use the Archimedean principle. The Archimedean principle says that given a positive number, we can find uh, a natural number that's bigger. But we want to find a capital N that's bigger than 1 over epsilon. So we need to use the Archimedean property on 1 over epsilon. So note, 
1 over epsilon, well, first of all, it makes sense because epsilon is not 0. And second of all, it's positive, right, because epsilon is positive. So by the Archimedean property or Archimedean principle, we have power, right? We know that there exists, here's some new notation, this means exists, a natural number n, so n is in the set of natural numbers, this is the set of natural numbers, such that, as t means such that, so again, by the Archimedean principle, there exists a natural number in the set of natural numbers, such that, so n in the set of natural numbers, this means is in, this is the set of natural numbers, such that n is bigger than 1 over epsilon. So that's by AP, right? Because 1 over epsilon is a positive number, so the Archimedean principle says we can find a number that's bigger, and we've done that. So now we can work backwards, right? I think all we have to do now um, is uh, sol solve this for, for epsilon. Um, so let's do that. So maybe we can multiply by epsilon, so we get epsilon times n is bigger than 1. So epsilon is bigger than 1 over n. Okay, so then, now we need to invoke this, right? We need to come back and use little n. For all, this means for all little n greater than or equal to capital N, well, let's just rework what we've done. Whenever we have n greater than or equal to capital N, we have 1 over n greater than or equal to 1 over little n, right? Dividing both sides by the n's. It est, that means that is, 1 over n, reading it backwards, is less than or equal to 1 over big N, which is less than epsilon. And this is precisely what we wanted to prove, right? Let's recap. We have epsilon greater than 0. We found a natural number n such that for all little n bigger than capital N, 1 over n is less than epsilon, and that completes the proof. So that's how you use the Archimedean principle. I hope this video made sense. Um, it's a little bit long. Um, I tried to go slow, uh, rewind, replay. Uh, that's it.